Hi, Katrina Mitchell, CEO and Chief Matchmaker of Speak, and I'm here with Scott Greenberg. And Scott, I think one of the things that makes you so uh, so able to connect with franchisee audience is your understanding, your deep firsthand experience and your understanding of the franchisee, franchisor relationship and that inherent tension that exists. And you're just such an expert of overlaying any of your key messages, whether it's leadership or customer service or working with generations or, or franchisee mindset, but around that relationship between the franchisee and the franchisor. And I'd love for you to speak a little bit about that. It is a miracle that franchisees and franchisors can collaborate and work together. Even with the greatest, most honest, most hardworking, generous people in the world, you get groups of people together, there's a natural tension that's there. But especially in the franchisee franchisor relationship, because it is a relationship that is just teeming with contradiction. I mean, think about it. You have all these people who want autonomy, but they're operationally accountable to this large corporate, you know, this large corporation. And then you have people who want to align themselves to the really successful brand, but they want to resist uniformity. You have a, a corporate office that wants to grow, that wants to innovate, that wants to invest, but they're working with a group of people that needs to save money and kind of maintains, you know, simplicity. You, the corporate office, they want to drive traffic to the brand by advertising nationally, whereas <laughs> franchisees want to drive tra you know, traffic by advertising locally. Yeah. And of course, the franchisor makes money based on gross sales. The franchisee makes money based on profit. There's a lot of, of natural contradiction that's there, yet there are countless franchisees and franchisors who are together are being very successful. So what I find is most of the complaints that I hear from franchisees and franchisors are not because it's the wrong people who are there, it's because the relationship itself just has this natural tension that's built in. The best franchises that are out there, they spend time focusing on culture, making sure that they communicate, making sure they're not making assumptions, yeah. and giving each other the benefit of the doubt, and knowing if there's some tension there, maybe it's because there's a lot of people who are passionate and who are care, and not because they're all a bunch of scoundrels who want to um, get the most from the other person. Yeah, yeah. And I think that really shines through when you, when you what, again, whatever message you're key takeaways you're delivering in your keynotes, that understanding of the relationship is, you know, it's uh, fundamental. I think it's what makes you so good at what you do. Thanks.